Ever pondered the enigma, the paradox that quantum mechanics presents? It's a realm where particles can be in two places at once, where time and space become fuzzy. But what if our current understanding of quantum mechanics is not the complete picture? What if there's more to it than just protons, neutrons, and electrons? Indeed, every physics student is taught that light is a relationship between electric and magnetic fields. This relationship, a right-handed one, is so ingrained in our understanding of the universe that it's hard to imagine anything else. But imagine we must. Enter a casa, a concept that introduces a third energy to the atomic equation. Neutrons, those neutral particles in an atom's nucleus, have an orbiting counterpart. This counterpart, much like the electron, has quantum states and can absorb and emit energy. Yet this energy is not solely electric, it's a blend of electric and akasa energy. This energy behaves in a left-handed manner, the antithesis to our right-handed understanding of light. Now we know neutrons exist within the atom because they have an electric field component. But because this field operates in a reverse fashion to the electric field in which the proton exists, this left-handed electric field is invisible to the naked eye. Introducing Akasa into the mix reveals an exciting relationship. A changing right-handed electric field induces a magnetic field, whereas a changing left-handed electric field induces Akasa. By extension, a changing Akasa field would induce a left-handed electric field. The relationship then appears as Akasa being related to left-handed electric forces and magnetic being related to right-handed forces. But wait, there's more. If Akasa and magnetic are related to left and right-handed forces, there must be a third reference frame of handedness. Let's call this I-handed, an homage to the square root of negative one in mathematics. An I-handed magnetic field would induce an I-handed Akasa field, creating a circular relationship. This hypothesis suggests a third fundamental particle in the atomic nucleus, alongside the proton and neutron, the itron. The itron expands into a dimension outside of our perception. This is the reason why it remains undetected by science. The relationship between protons, neutrons, and itrons are all attractive. And since the upspin is inconsequential to the downspin, the forces inside the atom are not repulsive until the third proton of lithium is introduced. That third proton is experiencing the attraction of two neutrons and two itrons and one opposite spinning proton while the repulsive forces are solely provided by a single proton with the same spin. This creates an exceptionally strong base for which the rest of the atoms can build upon. Evidence of this relationship can be traced back to the hydrogen isotopes, where it is possible to have one proton with one, two, or devoid of neutrons. On introducing the itron into this combination, the heaviest hydrogen isotope would possess one proton, two neutrons, and a pair of itrons, just as electrons have an up and down spin, the neutrons and itrons would have an up and down spin. And as electrons with opposite spin can occupy the same state, up neutrons and down neutrons do not affect one another, as well as the pair of itrons. The next stable addition to this heavy hydrogen must be a proton of opposite spin. It is this relationship that allows a hydrogen atom to have one or two neutrons. These discoveries have been overlooked by science, but it is possible to see evidence of the elusive neutron orbiting counterparts in water. If we promote a freestanding neutron to something more like a hydrogen atom, a single neutron with a single orbiting counterpart, then a molecule of water could house two neutrons connected in a similar fashion as the hydrogens are in H2O. Interestingly, these invisible neutrons influence the hydrogen atoms in water, displacing them to one side. This displacement is what gives a water molecule its Mickey Mouse-like shape. But since we can't visually discern them, we are left to merely observe the effects they exert on the hydrogen atoms. In summary, the introduction of Akasa and the itron into our understanding of quantum mechanics could revolutionize our perception of the atomic world. The left-handed energy and the itron a new fundamental particle, could provide answers to the quantum puzzles that have long baffled scientists. A brave new world, and we're just beginning to scratch the surface. The next time you look at a glass of water, remember, there's more to it than meets the eye.